Storms continuing throughout the evening, especially east of Interstate 75. I'm meteorologist Megan Borowski, and let's jump right to future track and time out those storms for you. You'll see by 8 o'clock tonight, I'm still expecting scattered activity east of I-75, closer to the St. John's Basin. Some stronger storms possible up toward the Jacksonville area, pushing eastward. Notice also this particular model showing as we approach the midnight hour, storms firing up again anywhere from St. Augustine down to Palatka and Ocala, eventually pushing off the first coast after midnight. So spots along and east of I-75, you could be dealing with storms until the midnight hour. Farther west, uh, things should quiet down for you much sooner. Here in Gainesville, we should be dry at midnight. It'll still be humid and warm. Temperatures still near 80 degrees. It'll fall to the mid 70s by tomorrow morning. A humid start to Saturday and temperatures quickly feeling uncomfortable by the early afternoon. I'm expecting heat indices again in the lower 100s. Feeling like 106 in Gainesville tomorrow afternoon, 108 in Stark and 110 degrees in the villages. I am expecting spotty showers and storms though again tomorrow. If you are going to the first coast, it'll be a nice afternoon. Your actual temperatures in the upper 80s and lower 90s. It'll likely feel warmer than that thanks to the humidity. Also keep in mind we do have a moderate risk of rip currents. Over the next six days, not a change in the pattern coming up. Humidity will remain in place. That means a good chance of afternoon storms each day. High temperatures in the low to mid 90s heat indices in the lower 100s.